Solve the inequality. Give the solution in both interval and graph forms. Here we have the inequality 4 minus 6 times the quantity x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 2 minus 3 times in parentheses x plus 6 plus 3x. Let's begin by simplifying both sides. On the left hand side, uh, distributing a minus 6 through gives a minus 6x and a minus 18 is less than or equal to. On the right hand side we have a negative 2 distributing a minus 3 through gives a minus 3x and a minus 18 plus 3x. Now as we look at this I think the next step that I'm going to take is to notice that we've got a minus 18 on both sides. If we add 18 to both sides, those terms are going to disappear. So I'm going to take those out at this point. So on the left-hand side, then, we have a negative 6x plus 4. That's less than or equal to. On the right-hand side, we've got a uh, negative 3x plus 3x. They cancel, leaving us with a negative 2. If we subtract 4 from both sides, then negative 6x is less than or equal to negative 6. And as a last step, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. As I do that, I'm going to have to remember to switch the direction of that inequality symbol. Negative 6x divided by negative 6 is x. On the right-hand side, negative 6 divided by negative 6 is a positive 1. So our solution set is all values x that are greater than or equal to 1. If we write this solution in interval form, then we would describe that solution set as all numbers from 1 inclusive, the bracket means including 1, up toward positive infinity. Lastly, let's go ahead and graph the solution set as well. I'm just going to locate 1 on the number line. Now our graph is going to look a lot like this interval notation. We're going to use a bracket to indicate that that 1 is included. Then we're going to highlight this line to the right with a bold arrow indicating that our solution set is from 1 included up toward positive infinity.